All right, welcome back. This is another video review on behalf of the Scratch and Sniff Sticker Collector Society. Uh, this time we're going to be taking a look at something a little different. Uh, this is a sticker collector book, but it's a particularly rare one for a line called the Goobal Gang. Now, I've had this since... My gosh, I, I was very, very young. Uh, just to let you know, and I'm going to bring this up towards the camera. I don't, I'm hoping that the focus stays on this. That sticker, $1.29 is what this originally cost from Woolworths. That's where this came from. So, yeah. Um, the cover has some characters on it that I'm assuming, and you'll have to excuse my the childhood me who put a sticker over one of them there. Uh, one of the balloons. A little Pac-Man fuzzy sticker. Not scratch and sniff, but kind of cool. Look at a little kiss on his cheek. Isn't that cute? Anyway, um, I got this book. I've never, ever, 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 ever seen stickers with these characters or anything related to this line. This is the only thing I've ever seen. Uh, I don't know what the story is there. Who knows? But we'll take a look at the book. Um, and uh, much like any other collector's book of this era, it, it has the pages that allowed you to remove the uh, place and remove the stickers. And... Um, you, of course, could put your name and so on and so forth on here. Rare discoveries, superstars were placed for TV stars and such. Um, the grocery store. Now, as you can see, I have mostly trend in here. But I do have some other little ones here, some puffies um, of different kinds. This apple puffy, I, don't, I can't remember who made these. These were probably the nicest smelling apple sticker I've ever ever had um, peanut butter and jelly one that was cool um, as you can see there were some pages I never put anything on video game stickers definitely uh, just uh, an idea of the era this comes from the time period here's another one with some video game stuff why there's a popped bubble gum guy I have no idea you have to ask the four-year-old me why in fantasy we had Pac-Man and not and not in the video games again I have no idea this guy I must have made a wrong turn at the soda shop I love that place for fuzzies of course no fuzzy here it's on the cover again uh, apparently I didn't like playing by the rules I love the jumbo one where he's popping the O by sitting on it. And then here it has a list of the stickers. And this is where I'm saying that um, you know, apparently this was a line. Uh, but I I never saw it. It's, it's from Diamond Toy Makers. Um, if anybody out there has any information on this, by all means, please let me know. I've never seen, there was obviously a lot of stickers in this line. I've never, ever seen them. And this is the only thing from it I ever saw. Even when I got this, there were no corresponding stickers in the store at the time. This this was it. So, um, so yeah, it's a bit of a rare find. I don't know if it was a short-lived line. Again, you know, back in these days, Scratch and Sniff was so popular that it was on everything. And it, um, <laughs> you know, with varying degrees of success with certain lines, some were kind of late to the late to the game, and they just didn't capture the attention. Um, but interesting, you notice a lot of trends in there. Obviously, we're going to cover trend. We're going to cover a bunch of other things here as we move along. But overall, it's a pretty cool book. And it's just an example of just how pervasive uh, Scratch and Sniff was at the time. That you have these little lines that there's very little on or little uh, we don't really know a whole lot about. Because everyone was rushing the market to get something there. So kind of a neat little find. Again, anybody has any information, by all means, share it. And... Uh, Again, you know, like, subscribe, let me know what you're thinking, and uh, yeah, so there it is, a review of the sticker collector book from the Google Gang. Um, this dates, you know what, let me see if, bear with me while I pull this out of sight to see if there's a date on this thing. I do not believe that there is. There is not. There is not a date on this, so I can't date that for you. I can tell you that it was very early 80s but that's about all I know about it 
So there again, on behalf of the Scratch and Stiff Collector Society, thanks for watching.